Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now today guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you my Preskia cacti collection. And for those of you who are not familiar with Preskia cacti, they're actually known as the leafy cacti, as in this one here. Which I'm going to talk about a little bit in a minute. And what I'm going to be doing, this particular video is just going to be showing you um, my collection of Preskia cacti. But what I'm, what I'm actually going to be doing is doing a three-part series on all of the, um, the different types of leafy cacti, which are these, these types here. And there's, there's three sort of main types that I have of leafy cacti, the Preskia, um, the Quibentia, which is this one here, and also Preskiopsis, which we've got over there, and also some more over there as well, to show the Preskiopsis there, all known as the, the leafy cacti. And they're all very unusual in the sense that they have leaves. But despite having leaves, they are definitely cacti. And we'll be explaining more in the individual videos on these three groups of leafy cacti. And also I'm going to be sharing how you can care for them as well, as well as information. So do check that out. I'm going to be doing that after I've made this video. So probably part one will come on tomorrow. And it's going to be about all about Preskia and how to care for Preskia. And then part two is going to be Preskiopsis. Um, all about Preskiopsis and how to care for it. And then series part three is going to be about Quibentia, which is this one, and all about it and how to care for it. So do stay tuned for that three-part series going into how to care, which I'm going to be doing after I've made this video. But today's video, as I say, is just showing you the different types of Preskia cacti that I have in my collection. Now, the Preskia cacti, they're, they're the leafy cacti which are here, and they're often wrongly mistaken for just being a succulent because obviously they're leafy and look nothing like a traditional cactus for example this one here like a cluster cactus there's absolutely no resemblance whatsoever between this and this one in fact this one looks more like just a normal house plant but it, it is a hundred percent a cactus and i'll tell you why because it contains so it contains because it has areoles or areoles some people say areoles some people say areoles and i'll just see if i can show you here i'm going to explain a bit more in the in the all about video in the care video but just show you that's where the spines come out of see there there's the spines that will be an areole there and the different to thorns that just come out of the plant body um the spines actually come out the thorns the, yeah the spines come out the actually areoles which is that's an areole there which is usually a little little hairy sort of furry um where the, the spike comes out of there. And the same here, these are all Preskia's different types. But as I say, I'm gonna explain more in that care video. So these are the four different types we have. And this first one is Preskia godsefiana. It's Preskia aculata godsefiana. This is actually a beautiful Preskia because the leaves itself is just stunning. It has sort of golden yellow leaves and they often the new the new leaves that form are always a lovely sort of red colour. And in the summertime we have these out in our in our polytunnel and it gets really full sun and the leaves go really red. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful Preskia here. And as I say, it's quite unusual to think it's a cactus. This particular one here, I have we have quite a few of these actual actual um Preskia here. Hans has two in his grow room as well from his these have all come from his big mother two big mother plants. And uh beautiful to see the leaf on the, the leaves on these and this particular one is one that I'm, I'm growing for Josh or we growing for Josh I should say with a growing for Josh project from um, gardening at Duenza so uh, this is growing really really well which I'm, I'm happy about there and these are the ones so that is um Preskia godsefian aculata godsefiana the beautiful golden leaves then the second one here we have this is Preskia aculi Aculati variety rotodifolia, rotodifolia, and that's because it has sort of the rounded leaves. You can see very different to these, and um, sort of lovely, lovely rounded leaves on this one as well. This is gorgeous and uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Preskia. This actually was a cutting that was gifted to us from our, our wonderful friends. So um, happy to see that that growing, growing so well there, and uh, that's the second one. And then this third one here is Preskia. Um, grand, grandifolia, 
beautiful and that has more narrower leaves more yellow colored leaves um, different to the um, god Sephion that has the the lovely sort of red coloration to the leaves and more sort of golden color this one is more like a, a lime greeny golden color there and it does green up a lot more obviously we're keeping these sort of dry now because it's winter time um, but i'll explain a bit more all about that in the care video because these are tropical tropical cacti that can take a little bit more water in obviously than the traditional desert cacti for example this one can and then here this one here our last one is Pereschia Pereschia Diaz Roma Ro Rome Roana and this one is normally all in leaf but obviously it's dropped quite a few leaves now it's winter time and uh, because I don't keep these dry for months and months through the winter like I would my norm like my normal cacti they still keep some of their leaves I probably water these about once a month and that's it and look at that guys a lovely big fruit pod so very happy to see that that was from um a wonderful, when well, he had a lovely, beautiful pink flower in the summer that absolutely was gorgeous. It actually resembled a little rose and it smelled like lemons. It was so gorgeous. And I didn't pollinate this myself. It was pollinated by bees that were in the polytunnel. Um, we saw quite a few landing on that beautiful flower. And there you go. That's the result, a, a fruit pod forming. And I'll know when that's ready to harvest because it will go yellow and squashy. So I'm looking forward to um, harvesting the seeds off this and obviously then sowing the seeds and growing this Prescia from seed in the future. Something I've never done with, with this particular group of cacti Prescas can be very exciting. So I'm um, obviously going to share that with you all. But that's wonderful. If you want to see what this particular Prescia um, was like in flower in the summer, do check out a video. It was beautiful, guys. And um, I'll put li links up above to that video there. You must see the flower on this stunner. And um, also at the end of this video, I'll show you what the, the flower, if you haven't, if you can't click, click the links up above. So there we go. And that's the uh, Prescia Diaz Romariana. So that's, that's my Prescia collection. Now, I'm just going to show you a little something else a bit interesting. This, this Prescia, God Sef, uh, yeah, God Sefiana is all in leaf. And that's because I do still water this about once a month. Um, I'll explain more in the care video why I choose to do this but obviously at the end of the day they are cacti the leaves are not succulent um, at all but their stems are succulent so they can they can go without water for a long time when you don't water them the leaves will drop off after a few weeks and I'll show you Hansi's because he prefers to keep his totally dry over the over the winter months just about three or four months um, and they drop all their leaves and then he waters them again probably from March onwards and they, they grow a load of new leaves again so I'm just going to show you he's he's in his grow room now now these are Hansi's two um the, the Prescia's um, God Sefianas that he's had for quite a, lo a long time now, um, a good few years. And as you can see here, they're like little trees, but they've completely lost all their leaves because Hans likes to keep them dry during the winter time and they drop their leaves. And then in the spring when he starts to water them again, they will send out loads of new little leaves all across. And then within a few um, couple of weeks time it'll all be covered again all in leaf so that's um, what Hans likes to do with his pres prescias but obviously I keep mine still watered so they still keep their leaves so there you go guys that's the difference with uh, mine's all in leaf because I still keep them watered once a month but it doesn't hurt you can even not water them for for a couple of months and they'll drop the leaves and grow new leaves in the spring um are they cacti after all but because they are tropical I prefer to keep these light, lightly watered just because I love to see the leaves on them but it's really a personal choice so stay tuned for a um, information and care video on how to grow Pereschia um, as I say it's going to be part of a three-part series on these leafy cacti which are not commonly seen in cultivation or for sale so um, sort of interesting if you're you're new to cacti or even you've, you've grown cacti a long time and you'd like something a little bit different do check out these videos I'm going to be putting on so if, you, if you're watching this video in the future they'll already been uploaded and uh stay tuned for them and as i say you must see what this one this prescia diaz romo riana looked like when it was flowering and where this seed pod has come from <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching and if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents then please do check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com and I want to thank you all so much for your support and for watching, guys. And um, if you haven't done already, please give this video a like. And please subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to click that notification bell. And until the next video, guys, bye.